Welcome back to our channel. Today we're unveiling Japan, known for its unique culture, food, and technology. Our journey begins in the heart of the Kanazawa city, often referred to as Little Kyoto. Known for its rich historical tapestry and cultural heritage, Kanazawa is a city deeply rooted in the traditions of the past. Unmarred by the hustle and bustle of modern tourism, it is a place where the customs and cultures of traditional Japan still thrive, a city seemingly untouched by the hands of time. Kanazawa's cobblestone streets echo with the whispers of ancient tales, and its aged establishments serve as portals back to an era long gone. As you walk through these streets, your senses are awakened by the colors, aromas, and sounds that are unique to this city. The aroma of local delicacies being prepared in traditional fashion, the sight of locals dressed in traditional kimonos, and the sound of traditional Japanese music wafting through the air all contribute to the unique ambience of this place. One of the captivating spectacles that the city offers is the Kenrokuin Garden, one of the three great gardens of Japan. It is a place time seems to stand still amidst the rustling of leaves and the soft murmur of water features. Stepping into Kenrokuin is like stepping into a beautifully painted landscape, where every tree, every stone, every water feature has a story to tell. In every season, the garden takes on a different hue, offering visitors a new perspective each time they visit. The towering trees, the elegant stone bridges, the serene water features. Everything in Kenrokuin seems to be in harmonious synchrony with nature. But Kanazawa isn't all about ancient history. The city also houses a vibrant modern side, illustrating a harmonious blend of the old and the new. Kanazawa is a city that beautifully marries the traditional with the contemporary, the ancient with the modern. Amidst the historic landscape, the city is home to numerous modern establishments that showcase the city's progressive spirit. Venture into the 21st Century Museum of Contemporary Art, and you will witness a stark to the city's traditional ethos. This museum is a testament to Kanazawa's commitment to progress and innovation. Here, the future of art is being shaped, with groundbreaking exhibitions and innovative installations that challenge the traditional notions of artistic expression. The museum's architecture itself is a symbol of modernity, with its sleek design and futuristic appeal. As you explore the museum, you'll discover a world of artistic innovation that pushes the boundaries of creativity. From interactive installations that engage viewers in a multi-sensory experience, to thought-provoking exhibits that challenge the status quo, the museum is a hotbed of artistic exploration and innovation. It's a place where the conventional is questioned, the ordinary is transformed, and the boundaries of imagination are constantly pushed, proving that Kanazawa isn't just a city rooted in the past, but also a city looking towards the future. Venture into the 21st Century Museum of Contemporary Art, where the future of art is being shaped, and you'll find a world of innovation and creativity that challenges the traditional notions of artistic expression. From Kanazawa, we journey south to the coastal city of Shimonoseki, the seafood capital of Japan. Our voyage takes us through breathtaking landscapes, past emerald mountains and tranquil rivers, their natural beauty and awe-inspiring prelude to the culinary treasures that await us in Shimonoseki. As we draw closer to the city, the alluring scent of the sea becomes increasingly prominent, mingling with the fragrant notes of the local cuisine and hinting at the culinary delights that lie in store for us. Once we arrive, it is immediately apparent why Shimonoseki holds the title of seafood capital. Everywhere we look, we see a city that lives and breathes seafood, where local fishermen, chefs, and food enthusiasts converge, their shared passion for the fruits of the sea palpable in the air. We make our way to a gem of the city, the Corrado Fish Market, a bustling hub of activity that serves as the beating heart of Shimonoseki's thriving seafood industry. The market welcomes us with an impressive display of Japan's marine biodiversity. From gleaming silver tuna to vibrant lobsters, and from iridescent squid to a myriad of shellfish, the market teems with life and color. Amid the chorus of vendors calling out their wares, the clatter of crates and the laughter of shoppers, the market takes on an almost festive atmosphere, a celebration of Shimonoseki's rich seafood heritage. At the center of this whirlwind of activity is the market's iconic auction. As dawn the market seems to hold its breath as fishermen bring in their catches, the freshest bounty from the surrounding sea. In the early morning hours, these are auctioned off, an exciting spectacle that signifies the start of a new day in Shimonoseki. The auction, a dance of numbers and rapid-fire bidding, is a testament to the respect and reverence the people of Shimonoseki have for seafood. 
For the culinary adventurers among us, Shimonoseki is nothing short of a paradise. The city offers a gastronomic journey through its unique seafood, each dish an embodiment of the city's love for the sea. The delicate sweetness of the freshest sashimi, cut with precision and served with a dab of wasabi, is a testament to the city's culinary artistry. Equally enticing are the strong, bold flavors of fugu, the infamous pufferfish delicacy. Each bite of this potentially lethal fish, prepared by master chefs who have undergone rigorous training, takes us deeper into the city's culinary heart, revealing the courage and artistry that defines Shimonoseki's gastronomic identity. From Kanazawa to Shimonoseki, the journey is a delicious adventure, a voyage of discovery through Japan's seafood capital. Our journey through Japan wouldn't be complete without a nod to its technological prowess. Before us lies the challenge of traversing an architectural marvel, the Seikan Tunnel. As we approach the tunnel, the sheer magnitude of its existence, stark against the backdrop of the serene Japanese landscape, begins to dawn upon us. It's not just a tunnel, it's a revolutionizing marvel of modern engineering that reflects the tenacity and inventive spirit of the nation that constructed it. Boarding the train, we're filled with a sense of awe and anticipation. It's the same feeling one might experience before launching into the vastness of space or diving into the mysterious depths of the ocean. The doors to the Shinkansen, or the bullet train, slide open with a quiet hum, sleek interiors, a testament to clean design and practicality. The anticipation builds as the train prepares to embark, a palpable excitement that seems to seep into every fiber of our being. Once aboard, we watch as the world outside blurs into a streak of colors. The train, moving at an impressive speed, slices through the air like a blade. This seamless integration of speed and comfort is an example of Japanese efficiency at its finest. It's both a metaphorical and literal journey, taking us not just from Honshu to Hokkaido, but also through a marvel of technology that's reshaping the way we perceive distances. The Seikon Tunnel, an underwater bullet train route, is not just a means of transport, but a symbol of Japan's relentless pursuit of progress. It's an incredible feat of engineering, an experience that propels us into a future where borders and boundaries are constantly being redefined. As we hurtle through the underbelly of the ocean, there's a certain serenity despite the speed. The hum of the train, the gentle sway, the quiet conversations, all blend into a comforting rhythm, like a lullaby that cradles us amidst the not merely passengers on a high-speed commute, but observers of a grand spectacle that unfolds as Japan's landscape morphs from the lush greenery of Honshu to the snowy expanses of Hokkaido. Halfway through the tunnel, time seems to stand still. Encased in a cocoon of steel and concrete under the sea, we're part of a journey that's as breathtaking as it is efficient. It's an experience that transcends the physicality of travel, transforming it into a celebration of human will and ingenuity. Emerging from the tunnel, the landscape changes once again. Hokkaido greets us with snow-capped peaks and wide-open spaces, a stark contrast to the bustling cityscape of Honshu we've left behind. It's a beautiful reminder of Japan's diversity, both in its landscape and its technological advances. This marvel of engineering, the longest underwater tunnel in the world, is a testament to Japan's unyielding pursuit of progress and efficiency. It's not just a journey, but a reflection of the nation's soul, a symbol of their desire to push the boundaries of what's possible constantly striving for something greater. It's a testament to the spirit of Japan, a country that never ceases to amaze with its technological prowess. We emerge in Hokkaido, an enchanting realm of rugged beauty and untamed wilderness that paints a vivid picture of nature's artistry. This northernmost Japanese island, an epitome of raw and wild beauty, forms an ethereal backdrop to our journey as we traverse through its terrains. Here, our eyes are captivated by the charm of Daisetsuzen National Park, a paradisical oasis that stands as a symbol of untouched serenity amidst the relentless pace of life. Daisetsuzen, the largest national park in Japan, offers a expanse of pristine forests that stretch for miles under the azure sky. Its emerald green canopy houses an incredible assortment of flora and fauna, each species holding its own unique story in the grand narrative of nature. The deep woods echo with the symphony of the wind rustling through the leaves, the melodious chirping of the birds, and the whispered secrets of the forest creatures. This untouched wilderness, a testimonial to nature's majesty, is a sanctuary to those seeking solace from the concrete jungles of urban life. The park is also home to crystal clear lakes that mirror the skies above, their tranquil surfaces undulating with the gentle breeze. 
These azure bodies of water, nestled amidst the verdant landscape, offer a serene retreat to the weary traveler. The shimmering lakes reflect not just the celestial beauty overhead, but also the soul of the visitor, resonating a sense of peace that transcends earthly concerns. One cannot help but gaze in awe at the towering mountains that punctuate the landscape, their majestic peaks piercing the sky. These monoliths of nature, capped with a dusting of snow, offer a stark contrast to Japan's bustling cities. They stand as silent sentinels, embodying the spirit of endurance and strength. The mountains beckon the adventurous, them to embark on treks through their challenging terrains. For the intrepid explorers, the park presents a network of hiking trails that wind through its diverse landscapes. Each trail becomes a journey of discovery, leading us to hidden gems and breathtaking vistas that could only be found in the heart of Hokkaido. From the first glimpse of dawn painting the sky in hues of pink and gold, to the setting sun casting long shadows over the undulating landscape, every moment becomes an unforgettable memory etched in the canvas of time. And as the day of exploration reaches its end, the park reveals its final treasure, soothing hot springs. These natural spas, heated by the Earth's core, offer a soothing respite, a moment to soak in the beauty of the surroundings while immersing oneself in the therapeutic waters. The springs, nestled amidst the rugged landscape, serve as a testament to nature's healing power. They provide a rejuvenating balm to tired limbs after a day of vigorous exploration, inviting the traveler to rest and recharge amidst the serene ambiance. So, it's a place for the adventurous at heart, with hiking trails that lead us to breathtaking vistas and hot springs that offer a soothing respite after a day of exploration. Finally, we find ourselves in the quaint town of Otaru, a place that seems to have stepped out of a storybook with its charisma and charm. It's as if time has stopped here, allowing us to bask in the tranquility and the beauty that this town has to offer. The architecture is breathtaking, with buildings that narrate a tale of time past. Otaru is known for its scenic landscapes that seem to have been sketched out of a fairy tale, with its picturesque canal district that encapsulates the spirit of the town. Walking along the canal lined with willow trees and ancient gas lamps, one can't help but feel a sense of nostalgia. It's a captivating sight. The reflection of the charming buildings on the placid waters of the canal adds to the aesthetic appeal of this serene town. The warehouses, beautifully preserved, standing tall and proud, are a testament to the town's historical significance. Each of these warehouses has its own story, a story of the people who once worked there, the commodities they stored, the lives they lived. These warehouses, now transformed into shops and restaurants, give a glimpse into the town's industrious past. In Otaru, the art of glassblowing is not just alive, but thriving. It is more than a traditional craft. It's a living heritage, deeply rooted in the town's culture and history. The art of glassblowing is fascinating, where each piece tells a tale of artistic endeavor and creative expression. It's a unique blend of patience, precision, and passion. The town is littered with numerous, each offering an intimate look into the world of glassblowing. The displays of glass art are mesmerizing. From simple designs to intricately detailed pieces, there's something to capture everyone's imagination. The craftsmen in their workshops are akin to stage performers. Their every move carefully choreographed, their every stroke meticulously executed. The air is filled with the rhythm of their work, the soft whistle of the blowing pipe the gentle clinking of the shaping tools, the subtle hiss of the cooling glass. To watch them work is not just a visual treat, but an immersive experience. You can see their dedication in the sweat dripping from their brows, hear their passion in the soft hum of their work, and feel their pride in the radiant glow of the finished piece. Each workshop offers a unique experience, letting you take a peek into the soul of this art form. Here, the art of glass blowing is alive and well, with numerous workshops offering a glimpse into this intricate craft. As we conclude our journey, we find ourselves reflecting on the diverse experiences we've shared. The joyful laughter, the sentimental tears, the awe-inspiring moments of discovery, and the quiet, introspective times of solitude. Each and every one of these instances has been an essential piece of the intricate puzzle that has made up our journey. We've wandered through the diverse landscapes, drinking in the rich culture and tradition that seeps from its every pore. From the tranquil beauty of Kanazawa's gardens, a green oasis that's like a pocket of paradise in the heart of the city, a living testament to the country's reverence for nature. We walked in awe, 
trailing the neat gravel paths, marveling at their painstakingly maintained landscape and the rainbow of colors offered by the myriad of flowers, each symbolizing a different aspect of life, of nature, of the changing seasons. Then there was the bustling energy of Shimonoseki's fish market, where life teems at every corner. The early morning rush of merchants, the excited chatter of customers, the heady, salt-tinged air, heavy with the scent of fresh seafood. The market was a sensory overload, yet deeply exhilarating and captivating, pulling us into its rhythm, its routine, its frantic pace. The technological marvel of the Seiken Tunnel, an engineering feat that humbled us with its sheer scale and complexity. A testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of connecting the world, making it a little bit smaller, a little more accessible. The tunnel, carving its way through the earth, defying the very elements, left us in reverential silence. And then, the rugged beauty of Hokkaido, a natural gem untouched by time. Its vast wilderness, its towering mountains brushing the sky, its pristine lakes reflecting the world with crystal clarity, and its dense forests whispering ancient tales to the winds. Hokkaido was a heart-stirring reminder of the raw, untamed side of nature, a sight that sparked wonder and respect measures. These lesser-known places, each with their unique charm and character, offer a fresh perspective on a country that seamlessly blends the old with the new. They are the silent storytellers, the hidden gems that give us an insight into the country's soul, its identity. They remind us that the true essence of travel lies in the discovery of unexpected, in the exploration of the road less traveled. Every journey has a story to tell, and ours is no different. It's a story of growth, of discovery, a story of connections made bonds formed. It's a story etched in our hearts, a story that we will carry with us for the rest of our lives. So until our next journey, sayonara. If you like our content, don't forget to like and subscribe to Ned Voyage for more exciting and interesting contents.